Hello, this is Karen with the Band Group, and today we're going to take a look at the Embed Web Part within SharePoint Online. For today's topic, we're going to be covering the following. What is the Embed Web Part? Explore any limitations, then examples of where to use this web part. With that, what does this web part do? Well, here on my SharePoint Online site, I have various embed web parts. This is displaying content on my site from a website or any iframe base code. Almost think of it as viewing content from another site without ever having to leave your SharePoint environment. Here you can see some examples ranging from Vimeo, YouTube, Bing Maps, Google Maps, and also some variations of Microsoft 365 application. And then along with your very own URL to various SharePoint sites across your internet. You also have the ability to interact with some of the content in the web part if the original source allows it. Here, for example, on this Word document, at the very bottom, I do have some option to print to a PDF, download a copy, or again, gather some embed information. As well, if I scroll up, for example, to Google Maps, I have the ability to, just as with Google Map, if I go to the website directly, kind of maneuver and change the direction I want to view. With that being said, what are some limitations to the embed web part? Well, for example, if I enter in the edit mode of my SharePoint site and you give a couple seconds for the page to render correctly, you can see that it kind of bugged out and it moved me from the very top of my page to the very bottom. So with that, if you have a lot of embed web parts on your SharePoint site, just be patient for it to load correctly. You can also see here that within this section, I have embedded a PowerPoint and an Excel file. You can kind of see that they're very squished with one another and it's hard to read the content. So again, just be mindful of how many embed web parts you add within a section, or of course, best to explore and rearrange things accordingly. You also have the option, for example, if I go to this YouTube video that I have embedded onto my site and go to the edit web part, in the right panel, you have the option to resize to fit the page. Now, if I turn this on, you can see that the video kind of expand a little bit more and if I were to turn it off once more, it shrinks and fits to the column size. Right, another limitation I would like to bring up is that, for example, even though a website provides the embedded code, their security will not allow their page to be embedded if it's blocked. So for an example, if I have a private YouTube video that I wanna share, and even though I got the embedded code, that video will not be made playable on my SharePoint site. And well then again, I would have to go directly to the source, which is YouTube, and ensure that the owner has granted me access to view that private video. Another example or limitation to mention is that the site collection admin can also control whether user can embed content. So for example, in the backend setting, they can allow contributors to insert iframes only from the following domains. To wrap up my video here, some examples again where you might find yourself using this web part is on a SharePoint site that you want to show some training videos or some useful guides on how to navigate through SharePoint. If you have a new site that you want to share upcoming events and to help your user get a sense of direction of where to go. As well, you can use this on any of your landing page of your internet or if you want your audience and your team member to kind of focus on a particular file, um, having it in a bed web part and showing it through here and interacting with it to review the content is another great example. But again, overall, this embed web part is best again to bring in content outside of your SharePoint site so that your users do not have to leave your SharePoint environment. With that, thank you again for joining me in this tips and tricks video. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button to be notified and we'll see you next time.